the cliche following your passion was a lie. Everything that they taught you in school or your coach or your mom, your dad, unfortunately, I'm here, I'm your cousin, Jake, just to tell you the truth. Following your passion is an absolute lie. Matter of fact, by definition, passion, by definition, is a barely controllable emotion. So society is teaching us this cliche to follow our passion, which is pretty much telling us to follow a barely controllable emotion. If we understand anything about emotion, it rises and falls based on how we feel. This is the main reason when you're actually interested in some type of opportunity, some type of purpose walk, something that you claim that God loved you to be a part of. And you, re you find out why you you're trying to figure out why you can't actually like realize it or make it happen. Or you're trying to figure out why you can't stay in it or stay focused. It's because you're chasing passion, which by definition is a barely controllable emotion. I bet you didn't know that. And when we think about trying to take our life to the next level, if you're chasing something that can never be controlled, how can you ever have control of your destiny? It's a lie. <laughs> Uh, and we should think of passion like gas. Uh, when you think about gas, gas has only one real use, is to make a vehicle move forward. Uh, gas sitting still has no intrinsic value or it can combust and burn up. And a lot of our dreams combust and burn up because we're misusing this thing that we call passion. So I want you to think about your dreams, your goals, what you're trying to accomplish in three parts. Passion, purpose, and destiny. And I want to use some type of parallel. I want to use gas, vehicle, and destination as a, as a parallel so that we can kind of stay alone in the same thing. See, gas alone is nothing in, uh, when, when you talk about what it needs as, as it compares to the vehicle. See, the vehicle needs gas, which is passion. Your vehicle is purpose. It's something that's designed for it to actually be something or become something or do something for a specific cause, which is what your purpose is. But when you think about a vehicle, a vehicle has no intrinsic purpose unless somebody in the car is driving it to a destination. So a lot of us, we get so caught up in the industry that we're in, the opportunity that you're looking at. We're looking at the vehicle, this purpose thing, which is only purpose is to get you from where you are to whatever your end goal destination is. But you cannot spell destination without destiny. You cannot spell destiny without destined. And you're going to be destined for whatever you focus your mind on. So if you're focusing your mind on chasing a passion, you're going to be like a dog chasing his tail, getting nowhere and wondering why you're not progressing. So when I think about, and I want you to think about purpose, this thing that we're chasing, that's the next thing that they tell us. Well, don't chase passion, chase purpose. Well, I've never seen a car chase itself. Once you know who you are and whom you are, why would you chase that? Without having a destination, a place that you're going, that vehicle means nothing. That car means nothing. That it looks nice. You may drive a Rolls, but if it has nowhere to go, it's going to be parked in a garage, which is a lot like most of our dreams, parked somewhere. It's filled up with gas. It's filled up with passion. You got all the excitement for, but you have no destination. You don't know where you're going. And when you don't know where you're going, you will never get where you want to be. It's very simple. What we should be focusing on is our destination, where our destiny is. Because you're destined to find your destiny where your destination lies. If you pay attention to where you are going. And when you pay attention to where you're going, the vehicle, that purpose thing doesn't really matter as much because you want to find whichever vehicle actually gets you to your destination the fastest. So you remember when you was a kid, you had uh, that bicycle that you thought there was going to be, I said, oh, that was the most, that was your favorite bicycle. You had a lot of passion, energy, <laughs> riding that bicycle, right? And, and guess what? When you got older and you had to go a further place, so you couldn't just go to the park anymore. You actually had to get to school. Well, dry, riding that bike wasn't as efficient as getting on the bus to get to school. So you changed vehicles to, because your destination changed. And then when you, when you went from the bus, you said, man, I can get a car. You went from the bus to a car. And then you went from that car to another car. You went from that car to another car. And then you took your, your first trip out of town. And you got on the plane. And this is when you realize that uh, depending on your destination, your vehicle also has to change. This is why a lot of us also cannot find our dreams. It's because you're still riding a bicycle trying to get somewhere it takes a plane to be. You got a destination that you want to be great. 
Your destination to want to be great is across the water, overseas, but you're trying to pedal a bicycle across the water. You see how it all kind of works together? You got the energy, you got a vehicle, but it's not the right one. So this is why it's very important for you to know where you're going so you can choose the right vehicle. A lot of us get so caught up in what industry, what career, what opportunity that we're in, and we lose sight on where we're going, and you find yourself, man, I wanna do this. You got a lot of passion, you got a lot of zeal in doing this, and then we're like a bird, we're like a dog, we're like a squirrel, our mind cannot stay focused because we don't know where we are going. So you find yourself at the gas station of life all the time, in courses, mentorship, <laughs> uh, uh, bugging your mentor all the time, plugging your head, going to your pastor, praying and praying and praying that you're going to find something. You get all this gas to go nowhere because you don't know where you're going. So if you want to actually achieve your goals and your dreams, figure out where you're going first before you decide to get all passionate, excited about it. If you wanna figure out how to accomplish your dreams, find out where you're going and then find the best vehicle that's most suited for you to get there. But above all, that vehicle means absolutely nothing if you don't know who you are. Jake, what do you mean? What I mean is that car could have a destination that vehicle can be gassed up, but if you don't decide to get in the vehicle, the vehicle can never get to where you wanna go. It's very simple. So yeah, be passionate, but don't chase it. Yeah, you have a purpose, but don't focus only on that. Find your destination, find your destiny, and everything else will make sense. And when you find your destiny, you will find you, and when you find you, you can capture your dreams. My name is Dr. Jake Taylor Jacobs, and I don't want you ever chasing passion. I want you to find your destiny and chase your destination and go get your dreams. Peace.